Why play Xin Zhao jungle? Well, he's very strong in the early game. He is an incredible duelist. He's hard to kill with tons of lifesteal. And his early game ganks are devastating. However, if CC'd, he can get blown up. And other junglers can outscale him into the late game. Xin's passive is that every third attack will deal additional bonus damage and heal him. Your W will also count towards one of these three stacks. Xin's Q is an auto attack reset, which makes its next three attacks deal additional damage and reduce its other abilities cooldown by one second each. In addition, the third and final of these three attacks will knock up its target for a small amount of time. Xin's W has two parts to it with two different hitboxes. The first is a slash in an arc in front of him dealing damage. After this, he throws out a long range skill shot which deals damage and slows. Xin's E dashes him to an enemy which deals damage and slows all targets in an area. In addition, Xin grants himself a large chunk of attack speed for five seconds after use. The range of the dash is also increased against targets who are challenged. Xin's ultimate has a passive where the last champion he's attacked or hit with W are marked as challenged for three seconds. The active makes Xin sweep around him dealing damage and knocking back all non-challenged enemies. For the next four seconds, Xin becomes immune to all damage from outside this area he's created around himself. For combos, start with E into auto attack with the Q to reset your autos. Attack twice more before using W and then ult if needed. Xin works very well against champions he can stay on top of and beat in a duel. However, he can struggle against champions who can easily escape him or simply out duel him. For runes, take this. He procs Conqueror incredibly fast. Hail of Blades can work well but does fall off much harder. For build order, start Red Monster and Pot into Tier 2 Boots, Rav Hydra and a Gore Drinker. Follow this up with any of these depending on what you need and then finish your build with any of these. For skill order, start E then W then Q before maxing W then E then Q taking ult whenever you can. For summoners, take Flash and Smite. Starting the early game, you have a few options. Firstly, you can take blue or red buff and then immediately gank. Between your E giving you a dash and a slow and your Q giving you an insane amount of damage and a knock up, you immediately have serious kill threat and will almost guarantee blow a flash. However, this is very high risk, high reward. If the gank is successful, not only are you ahead, but you've also got one of your laners ahead. However, if it's unsuccessful, you've basically lost one to two camps of golden experience, which has a knock on effect if you're going to be less strong when challenging for a scuttle. The lower risk but still good reward choice is a level three gank. This is less punishing towards you if it doesn't work, but also your opponents will be more ready for it. And the final safest option is to simply do a full clear and then challenge Scuttle early. Your early game pressure is incredible, so between farming hard, look for all opportunities to gank a lane. When ganking, always consider the CC your team brings, the escapes the enemy has, and where the lane is pushed to. Zin also takes neutral objectives incredibly well and stays fairly healthy when doing so, so constantly be looking for opportunities when the jungler has shown themselves on the other side of the map to take an objective. Entering the mid game, Zin is brilliant at getting picks. He is very strong at jumping onto a target and locking them down, and you can easily convert this into objectives. So ensure to keep up aggressive vision and look to siege and roam with teammates. When it comes to team fighting, you work very well as your teams engage, and you also work very well as your team's assassin. If you're able to dash onto something important and use ultimate, you will send their team flying in all directions. This will cause an insane amount of disruption, and you have the damage to easily 1v1 kill an enemy carry. And with your ultimate and your lifesteal, your survivability is better than most champions. Otherwise, wait for someone else to engage in the fight, and play the pseudo frontline role until you can dash onto something important and blow them up.